In life, there are moments when we face unexpected hurdles, sudden storms that come from the blind spots of destiny. At times, the towering waves of emotions sweep us away, eroding our ability to control and endure. In those moments, Stoicism isn't just a philosophy, but a gateway to a new path, a method to face life's upheavals with strength and patience. With Stoicism, we discover inner peace through acceptance and self-mastery. We don't turn emotions into adversaries, but learn to confront them decisively and calmly. It's not just about learning to live with adversities, but also about forging a resilient spirit, unswayed by external events. Marcus Aurelius once said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. As a Stoic, we're not passive bystanders, but resilient and adaptable in every circumstance. We don't let ourselves be dictated by external events, but learn to control our reactions and draw strength from within. Today, join us on a journey to explore the seven Stoic lessons, holding the key to mastering your emotions and overcoming life's challenges, carrying precious insights from the philosophy of Stoicism to emerge stronger and more confident in every struggle. Before we begin, please like and subscribe to support our channel. If you find this content impactful in any way, leave a comment below and let's delve deeper into it together. All right, let's get started. Lesson one, think before you act. In our fast paced world of screens and speed, taking time to think deeply may feel old-fashioned, but this ancient practice of slowing down and thinking things through can actually be our anchor in a world that's always pushing us to react quickly. Think about all the decisions we make every day, from what to eat to where to work. It's not just about the choices themselves, but how we make them that counts. Consider a scenario we've all encountered, receiving a message that hits a nerve it could be a coworker critiquing your project or a friend making a casual remark that stings. The instinctive response might be to get defensive or feel angry. But what if, instead of jumping into that emotional whirlwind, you paused? By granting yourself that brief moment of distance, you're not ignoring your feelings. You're offering them room to be acknowledged and comprehended. Reflection isn't about sitting back and letting things happen, nor is it about avoiding difficult situations altogether. It's an active process where we engage with our thoughts and emotions. It's about digging deep and asking ourselves tough questions. Why did that remark hit me so hard? What past experiences are shaping my reaction? Am I reacting to the present or am I carrying baggage from before? Moreover, Taking a moment to reflect before reacting can help us develop empathy. When we pause, we can consider the other person's perspective. Maybe our colleague was under pressure, or perhaps our friend didn't realize the impact of their words. Reflection opens the door to understanding, not just for ourselves, but for those we interact with. Lesson two, identify what you can control. Have you ever been overwhelmed by life's challenges? These aren't the storms that bring rain, but the ones that bring surprises, letdowns, and sudden shifts. The ancient Stoic philosophers from Greece and Rome offer a valuable lesson for such times, the dichotomy of control. This idea serves as a steady anchor when everything else feels unstable. Imagine you've set up a picnic and, despite checking the forecast, it suddenly pours. You can't command the skies, but how you respond to this downpour is completely within your hands. You might choose to sulk or alternatively shift the picnic indoors or embrace the rain as a pleasant surprise. Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher who transformed from a slave to a revered intellectual, captured it well. Some things are in our control and others not. This principle may seem straightforward, yet it holds deep insight that can change our lives. 
We encounter countless scenarios daily, some we can steer, like our morning routines or the books we choose, and others we can't, such as world affairs, others' decisions, the ticking of time, and, of course, the weather. Here's an intriguing thought from the Stoics. Our happiness isn't shaped by what happens around us, but rather by how we perceive and react to these events. It's not the things themselves, but our thoughts about them that stir our feelings. Consider a moment when something didn't go your way, like missing out on a job you hoped for. Initially, it seemed like a catastrophe, but over time you might have seen it as a hidden blessing, steering you toward greater opportunities or personal development. So how do we actually apply this wisdom in our daily lives? Begin by asking yourself whether you have control over a situation. If you do, take action. If not, see it as a chance to practice letting go and being adaptable. By deeply grasping and embracing this concept, we can avoid a lot of unnecessary suffering. It allows us to move through life with calmness, understanding that although we cannot direct the winds, we can always adjust our sails. In a world that often seems unpredictable, embracing what we can and cannot control offers a clear guide. It encourages us to invest our efforts wisely and find peace in accepting that some things are just out of our hands. In relationships, taking a moment to think before we speak can make all the difference. Imagine how many arguments could be avoided if we just paused to consider our words. How many rifts could be repaired instead of widened? It's in these quiet moments of thinking that we gain insight, empathy, and stronger bonds. And in the workplace, the ability to stop and reflect is priceless. Leaders who take the time to ponder before deciding are usually more respected and successful. They're seen as careful, thoughtful, and wise. Their decisions, crafted from deep thought, often prove to be enduring. In a world that often feels rushed, reflecting is a rebellion, a subtle but potent declaration that we won't be swept away by the chaos. Lesson three, consider setbacks as stepping stones. In life, we all face hurdles, both personal and global. They're just part of the journey. But what if we saw them not as obstacles, but as openings for growth? The Stoics, wise thinkers of old, believed just that. They said, even though we can't always control what life throws at us, we can control our reactions. Shifting our perspective turns challenges into valuable lessons. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic philosopher, once said, the impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. This means that every challenge we face has the potential to propel us forward. Imagine a river encountering a massive boulder in its path. Instead of giving up, the river adapts, either by carving a new route around the obstacle or slowly wearing it away over time. In this way, what initially seems like a barrier becomes a catalyst for change, guiding the river along a new course. Throughout our journeys, obstacles often steer us towards unexpected destinations. Take a job loss, for example. While it may seem like a setback at first, it could open doors to new career opportunities, skill enhancement, or even entrepreneurship. Likewise, a broken relationship can be a catalyst for self-improvement, introspection, and the forging of stronger bonds in the future. This stoic outlook not only encourages adaptability, but also nurtures resilience in the face of adversity. When we see tough times as chances for growth, we become tougher, more ready to tackle problems head first. Instead of wondering, why is this my lot? We start asking, what lessons can I glean from this? How can this tough time make me stronger? But don't get it twisted. It's not about inviting trouble or brushing off real struggles. It's about knowing that every tough situation holds promise, a chance for something better. 
By tending to this promise with a positive outlook, patience, and determination, we can turn hurdles into building blocks, paving the way for progress, understanding, and satisfaction. Lesson four, will this still be significant in a year? Life presents us with moments that challenge our patience, strength, and outlook. From small annoyances like spilling a coffee to bigger hurdles like conflicts with loved ones. Each day brings situations that stir up various feelings within us. In the midst of it all, it's easy to be consumed by our immediate emotions. A deadline slip up, a harsh remark, or a forgotten special occasion can seem like the end of the world. But there's one poignant question that can alter our viewpoint and bring clarity. Will this still be significant in a month? This simple yet profound inquiry acts as a mental time travel device, propelling us into the near future and allowing us to reflect on the present moment. Suddenly, that intense argument or missed chance appears in a new perspective. Most of the things we stress over today will eventually fade into the background of our lives. Think about the problems and anxieties you faced one years ago. How many of them still matter now? How many have been overshadowed by new experiences, lessons, and memories? Understanding this truth can be both grounding and freeing. Keeping this question in mind regularly helps us figure out what truly matters. It helps us separate short-term challenges from long-term consequences. For example, although a rough day at work may seem like a big deal now, in the grand scheme of things, it's just one day in a career that spans many years. This perspective also builds resilience. When we face tough times, zooming out to see the bigger picture can calm us down and help us tackle problems head on. Instead of getting stuck in the current issue, we can think ahead, come up with plans, and keep moving, knowing that time often brings solutions. But it's not just about reducing our worries. This question also pushes us to focus on what really counts. If we want our actions and choices to matter in the long run, we need to invest in relationships, personal growth, and experiences that last. In a world that often prioritizes the present moment, will this still be significant in a year? serves as a guiding light, leading us towards a life of purpose, understanding, and tranquility. By asking ourselves this question regularly, we can navigate life's highs and lows gracefully, making sure our efforts and attention go where they truly make a difference. Lesson 5. Cultivate Dispassion In a world that can often feel like a chaotic ride, Embracing dispassion may seem unusual, yet let's explore the true meaning and the powerful impact it has. Being calm isn't about hiding your feelings or being detached from everything. It's about developing a steady outlook and finding peace in turmoil. Imagine being able to witness events, situations, and even your own feelings without being swept away by them. Think about the last time you watched an intense sports match. There were moments of suspense, excitement, and perhaps disappointment. As you cheered for your team, there was a part of you that recognized it was just a game. You didn't rush onto the field to assist the players or berate the referees. You watched, you felt, but you remained in your seat. This is the essence of practicing dispassion being fully engaged in the moment, experiencing its diverse emotions, yet also maintaining a sense of perspective, observing without being swept away by the intensity. This mindset is invaluable in navigating the complexities of modern life. Each day we're bombarded with social media updates, emails, and notifications. Reacting fervently to every message would leave us constantly drained. Dispassion offers a shield, a way to interact with the world in a more measured, balanced manner. Dispassion also proves crucial in our interactions with others. We've all found ourselves in heated discussions or arguments. 
In those instances, practicing dispassion can be the distinction between a fruitful conversation and a detrimental conflict. It empowers us to listen attentively, to respond thoughtfully rather than impulsively, and to handle disagreements with patience and understanding. Developing dispassion begins with being aware of ourselves, regularly checking in, recognizing what sets off our emotions and understanding our usual reactions creates a gap between what happens and how we respond. In that gap, we gain the freedom to choose how we react, to act with purpose rather than on impulse. While dispassion might seem like distancing ourselves from life's pleasures and happiness, it actually enriches them. By not clinging too tightly to outcomes, we can fully engage in the experience, enjoying each moment without the constant worry about what might go wrong. Practicing dispassion is about finding balance in a world that's always changing. It's like a compass that leads to inner calm, helping us navigate life's ups and downs with dignity. By adopting this mindset, we not only improve our own lives, but also bring a sense of peace and clarity to those around us. Lesson six, engage in stoic journaling. Throughout history and across different societies, people have praised the simple act of journaling. It's not just about jotting down what happens each day. It's about looking inward, growing, and finding clarity. The Stoics, who focused on understanding themselves and becoming better individuals, were familiar with this habit. A Stoic journal isn't just a place to write about your day-to-day -day life. It's a space to reflect, to have a conversation with yourself, and to understand your feelings, choices, and responses. It's where your outer experiences intersect with your inner thoughts, where you measure events against your own values and beliefs. Picture wrapping up your day by reflecting not only on what occurred, but also on your reactions. Why did a certain remark bother you? What sparked that sudden happiness during a routine chore? By analyzing our day, we unravel the threads of our mind. We begin to recognize the stimuli affecting our emotions, the principles influencing our choices, and the routines shaping our lives. Marcus Aurelius, the Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, left behind a private journal known as Meditations. This wasn't a manuscript for the masses. It was his personal sanctuary, a place where he could counsel himself, reinforce Stoic ideals, and navigate life's trials with wisdom. In his writings, we glimpse a man grappling with the weight of his duties, his emotions, and his role in the grand scheme of things. However, one need not hold high office to benefit from a stoic journal. In today's world, where distractions abound and information overload is the norm, dedicating time to introspection becomes increasingly crucial. Daily reflections serve as a grounding practice amidst the chaos, providing clarity in the midst of confusion. With time, this habit can unveil profound revelations. You might observe recurring stress triggers, motivating you to confront them or alter your viewpoint. Perhaps you'll discover that habits like gratitude or mindfulness consistently uplift your spirits and perspective. These recurring patterns can serve as a guide for personal development. Furthermore, a stoic journal cultivates accountability, urging you to take ownership of your thoughts and actions. Through daily reflection, we take responsibility for our responses and choices. We can't easily overlook recurring errors or dismiss lapses in judgment. Instead, we're encouraged to evolve, adjust, and progress. Essentially, maintaining a stoic journal is akin to having a wise, unbiased companion by your side, ever willing to lend an ear, offer insights, and provide direction. It signifies a dedication to personal development, to gaining deeper self-awareness, and to living in harmony with our values and beliefs. Lesson seven, develop a grateful attitude. 
In the vast array of human feelings, gratitude shines bright like a guiding light, knitting together instances of happiness, satisfaction, and clarity in our journey. While it can naturally well up within us, the Stoics advocated for actively cultivating gratitude, turning it into a daily habit to ground ourselves in the moment and cherish the blessings of life. Gratitude surpasses mere words of appreciation. It's a profound recognition of the countless influences, occasions, and people that enhance our existence. It involves spotting the splendor in the ordinary, the teachings and obstacles, and the fleeting essence of every moment, amplifying its value manifold. Seneca, a renowned Stoic thinker, once remarked, True happiness is to enjoy the present, without anxious dependence upon the future. This perfectly captures the core of gratitude, staying firmly anchored in the now, treasuring each instant, every occurrence, and every connection. Think about the little joys we tend to overlook, the sun's embrace on a chilly day, the melody of laughter, a meal enjoyed with dear ones, or simply the breath that keeps us alive. When we pause to recognize and value these moments, we enhance their splendor and importance in our lives. Embracing gratitude provides a much-needed antidote to our inclination to dwell on what's missing, on unfulfilled wishes or uncertainties about tomorrow. When we redirect our attention to what we possess, rather than what's absent, we nurture satisfaction diminish envy or bitterness, and boost our general sense of fulfillment. Now, you might ask, how does one nurture this mindset? It can be as straightforward as beginning or concluding each day by reflecting on three things you're thankful for. With time, this habit can reshape your perspective, rendering you more open to life's gifts and more resilient when confronted with difficulties. Moreover, Gratitude bolsters relationships. When we openly acknowledge and thank others for their kindness, support, or love, we not only strengthen connections, but also cultivate mutual regard, fostering a cycle of positivity and warmth. In a society that frequently fixates on more, more belongings, more accomplishments, more wants, gratitude gently prompts us to recognize the richness already present in our lives. It serves as an invitation to revel in the present moment, to welcome life wholeheartedly, and to journey through existence with a grateful heart. As we conclude our discussion today, let us pause and reflect on how we can incorporate these age-old principles into our daily lives. How will you use the Stoic lessons to carve out a brighter, more fulfilling tomorrow? Your insights and experiences are invaluable shaping our collective journey of self-discovery. So, dear viewers, I invite you to join the conversation. Share your thoughts in the comments below, for it is through our exchange of ideas that we truly grow and evolve together. I hope you found value and inspiration in today's video. Your presence here means the world to us, and we are immensely grateful for your participation. Until we meet again, may your curiosity never wane. May your feet stay firmly planted on the ground, and may your quest for wisdom be endless. Thank you for being a part of this journey.